Shalom, why does the Sabbath Psalm 92 compare the righteous to a palm tree? At the end of Psalm 92, we sing, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree, they'll grow like the cedars of Lebanon. So why a palm tree? Well, it's interesting, I read a report that in uh, the Hurricane Katrina that knocked down trees all over the New Orleans area, Louisiana, all over, that the one tree that really stayed strong was the palm tree. In fact, palm trees uh, play a big role in Judaism. You think about Sukkot, for example, the date palm branch, the, uh, the using the spine for the lulav. But in this case, why would the psalmist thousands of years ago say that the righteous will grow like a palm tree? I think there's a very powerful and important life lesson in that. Why did the palm tree survive when nobody else survived? What can palm trees do that other trees can't do? They can bend. They can bend and bend and bend, and then they bounce back. And there's a very big idea about that in life, that sometimes uh, people do the wrong thing and they uh, suffer. They have to learn to bounce back or else they fall. Or sometimes just injustice strikes and people are afflicted. They sometimes get a bad health report. They get a bad job report. They're laid off. Their marriage, their relationships seem to suffer. And so what do you do with that? You can fall to the bottom. You can lose faith. You can get despondent, which is very natural. But I think what the psalmist is really trying to say, and Shabbat is helping to teach us, is the bounce-back ability that the rejuvenation you're supposed to experience on Shabbat of cutting out your work life, of just relaxing, reading, nourishing your body and soul, enjoying life, and realizing you're not God but that you're in God's hands, that where a door closes, a door will open, that's the bounce back. And so when we have this beautiful psalm which teaches us that we should grow and bounce back and survive. That's why the psalmist says, thrive like a cedar of Lebanon, but like a righteous will flourish like a palm tree. Now the cedars of Lebanon, that wood was used to build the holy temple, beautiful trees of Lebanon. And so that's another glorious image. But the key image there is Tzadik HaTamar Yifrach. Tzadik, the righteous, will flourish and so that's why we have that new image of the Jew and the palm tree and the righteous for the Shabbat, Psalm 92. I'll put the language uh, in the text here so you can see it. Shalom.